hello youtube welcome back to my channel you guys yancy here all right so what we're doing today is we are going through how i organize my work bag all right and i really basically kind of use two main bags or like they're basically my favorite bags to use and it's going to be of course a tote bag you guys because at the end of the day um tote bags just work for me i love them so much um they pretty much fit everything that i need i don't care if it's like an article of clothing some sneakers um lunch whatever i'm putting it in my work bag all right and i actually went with two bags that i normally switch out of all of the time and i'm gonna kind of just go through those and i'm gonna do um one bag with an organizer and i'm gonna do one bag without and i might kind of switch it up and show you with organizer without um but i'm gonna explain so let me just talk about the two bags that i am showing you that i use mainly as a work bag um you guys have seen these bags before and i love them so much um the first bag is going to be my ysl shopping tote all right so this particular bag i actually got from um neiman marcus and I love my sales associate who was there. She's helped me um, with one of my Tory Burch bags. She's helped me with this particular bag and she also helped me with my Chanel because we do have a Chanel boutique inside the um, Neiman Marcus department store. All right, so either which way I got that from, I got this one from there, all right? So this particular bag itself, I do not use an organizer. Um, and the reason why, because I know you guys are probably like, what? Because yes, I swear by organizers and I use them all the time because it's convenient. I love to be organized when it comes to my bag because I want to be able to just reach in, get what I need, and then that's it, all right? But the reason why I don't use the organizer for this particular bag, let me go ahead and take this stuff out, you guys. All right, so the reason why I don't use an organizer for this bag because it is more so floppy. So what's gonna happen is you are gonna have the organizer kind of dent in you can already see where you know like I said it's a floppy bag it's not structured at all so that organizer is going to kind of like start peeking through or poking through this leather that's right here um so I don't like that so I really just use the bag as is and that's why I swear by not only organizers but pouches card holders anything you can put into something it just makes it a little bit more convenient that way you don't have to continue to keep reaching for anything in your bag it's not just some big Bermuda triangle all right so as you can already see in this bag itself you do see that it does come with a pouch the pouch you can take off it's pretty difficult to take off I don't even bother I mean it really just came off easily right now but you can take it off and it comes off by detaching this from this little strap right there but I don't even bother to do it because at the end of the day it's like I don't want to keep worrying about you know it going missing or whatever and it's smaller definitely smaller than like the Louis Vuitton um, pouches that comes with the never full um, so that's why another thing I just keep it in there um, the thing about it is I will actually put my card holder in here because this is just one big open compartment there's nothing really securing it too much I mean, it does have a magnetic closure, but if you close it up, you know, it's pretty, I just did it and you can see that it just came apart really easily. So, I mean, for the most part, that magnetic closure is not really too strong, you guys. So at the end of the day, I will put anything that's, I feel, you know, important, I'll put it in that pouch and then I'll just put everything else in there or whatever, you know, so that's how I do that all right you guys so starting off the most important thing is going to be my laptop which is actually um an LG um I love this laptop I literally do everything on here you guys this is where I edit everything and I really like that so you know normally I would actually put it in its cover which is a Kate Spade <laughs> cover but I don't think if I put it in the cover, it's going to fit. So I literally am very careful with it. I'll probably just wrap like, um, you know, a sweater that I'm going to be wearing anyway um, in it. Um, and then I'm good to go. But for the most part, because I start putting things in there, it'll kind of just be a little bit more secure. So if you look right now, and I do not want this to drop, but there is my laptop right there, you guys. All right. So now... I'm actually going to start putting in all of my items. So you have my cosmetic pouch, all right? You have the LV wallet. I'm just going to add in there. You also have the mini pochette. 
I was just in there, so that's why it's open. I'm gonna put this in here as well. You have this cute little pouch that I actually got from Primark, and I got it when I went to go visit my sister in Philly because that's the only place Primark is that I'm aware of in the United States. So I kind of put that in there. That's pretty much it. So then I start adding all my little smaller items, such as my key clay, my card holder, and of course my key holder. So once I start putting all that in there, I'm good to go. You know, I might go ahead and put like a notepad in there just to kind of like secure the um, computer a little bit more. And I'll put this literally right in front of there. So lifting this up one more time. Bear with me, you guys. I don't know why I didn't just put the camera the other way. But either which way, you have everything that's right there. So now you have the notepad behind the computer. You do have the laptop right here, the cosmetic pouch, all of my other pouches, um, such as my Louis Vuitton, um, my little pouch from Primark, Gucci card holder. So everything is in there. You don't have any interior pockets with this bag whatsoever. Um, but it is still sturdy still very durable the straps are very well made so i do like that you do have the raw leather um material that's inside um so it's not you know any kind of like smooth out leather this bag itself is however on the outside the exterior it's going to be 100 percent calf skin leather um, and it's very smooth very supple and i do like that you do have the really understated um saint laurent right there you also have on the hang tag, if I were to lift this up, the YSL logo that's right in here um, with the dimensions itself for this particular bag that I use as my work bag. Um, the dimensions are going to be 14 inches in um, width. You're going to have 10 inches in height and you're also going to have five inches in depth. So it is a pretty big bag. Um, you can get it organized so that's small enough and you can always put like a laptop um, behind that organizer because it'll still work but you know I have the straps that I put on my shoulder and then I'm good to go all right so that I like and again this particular bag that I use I don't use it with any kind of organizer whatsoever because it's just going to start protruding out and I don't like that at all so that is my YSL shopping tote and that is my bag without an organizer all right and now we're going to switch off to another bag that i use an organizer with all right all right so the next bag as you know is going to be my tori birch gemini link tote this bag i adore i love i already did um pretty much like an unboxing slash what fits in my bag um i will definitely try to um put the card up that way you guys can click on that and go watch that but i love this bag you guys i don't really even have anything bad to say i mean the bag is beautiful i love the fact that you know it's a tote because i'm a tote girl but um i love toy birch i love the brand itself i love this webbing detail right here i love the gemini link um this bag is very spacious and i really truly like it it is a canvas material so it does make it very durable as far as wear and easy to kind of like care for all right dimensions of the bag itself is going to be 15 inches in width you're going to have 11 inches in height and then you're going to have five inches in depth so this bag itself is a pretty spacious bag as well um i already have the organizer in here otherwise it's just one big open compartment you guys you do have right here the um open flat pocket right there you do have a snap closure but I rarely use that, you guys. I don't even use it. It's just easier for me to get into without doing it. Plus, with the organizer, I just really don't like the way it looks when I do close it up. So I just really keep it open. Um, but again, to kind of just start stuffing this bag and laptop, it's coming with me. Um, and because I have the organizer in here, you guys, I'm literally going to try to put this in the back and see if it works. And it does not work that way, and I don't want to stand it up. So the laptop itself is not going to come with me. I will actually just put the laptop in um, the Kate Spade sleeve. I'm going to put it in the sleeve. And it's this right here, just to kind of digress a little bit, is really cute. It's a little laptop holder. It does have an additional pocket that opens and closes with Velcro. This is what I use all the time when I'm traveling. I put my laptop in here. 
and I'm good to go. And then I will take a much bigger bag. I think definitely bigger than this Tory Burch bag. And I will always put that inside of my bag because it's just easily, it's, it's just convenient. So, all right. So the strap drop on this bag is going to be 9.6 inches. Um, when it comes to the strap drop, I can easily take my battery pack and I can kind of just put it right there. As you can see, um, I can take all of my little items and I strategically just place them just different areas or whatever so whatever fits that's where i'm putting it all right guys so cosmetic pouch wallet mini pochette I'm gonna put the little mini pouch right here key holder card holder key clay all right so i put these kind of like back to back to each other protection and then I'm good to go. All right. So now if I pick this up and I show you everything that I have in there, that is my organizer in my bag. And that's how I have everything strategically placed in the bag itself. And it's very convenient. So like I said, the little mini pouch, cosmetic pouch, the wallet, mini pochette. I also have my key holder, key clay, and my card holder battery pack. Um, the little Chanel twist perfume and then I also have like a little um, Lysol spray or whatever like that. So it really just depends on where I'm going. I need that spray and then I also have my hand cream. So I mean for the most part itself, I love, love, love and organize you guys. You can see just how beautifully it fits. You can see that it kind of goes with the interior because it is like a really light color beige um, organizer. And I got this organizer off of Amazon, you guys. So you definitely don't have to spend a whole bunch of money. I know they have a lot of organizer um, companies that, you know, cost a lot or whatever like that. Um, I do have a some Morga organizer and it's really nice. It's beautifully made. But again, you don't have to spend a lot of money. Your bag already costs a lot. Just put that in there. So that way, if anything were to happen to the organizer, you're good to go. And you don't have to worry about spending so much money on an organizer and it got messed up. So that's my little tip. Go ahead and buy an organizer off of Amazon wherever go into a store get it and you'll be good to go all right so that is how i organize my bags for work that is a bag with an organizer that is a bag without an organizer so you see one fits with a laptop one does not um so for the most part i'm probably always going to carry for the most part my ysl because everything really just fits because i have it in pouches all right so you guys let me know what's your work bag um, essentials. What do you put in your work bag? What is your favorite work bag? Um, do you put an organizer in there? Just let me know, all right? Comment below. Let me know what you thought about the video. If you liked, hope you liked. Leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe, you guys, all right? Still trying to get all the numbers up, and I would greatly appreciate it. Tell everybody the most important thing is to do is to share because sharing is caring and i told you that's what we're doing in 2020 you guys we are sharing all right all right so that is it i will talk to you guys later i'll see you in the next video all right bye bye